What's good, Cassack Squad? Thank you so much for coming back. If you are new here, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. So in today's video, if you can't already tell, I'm going to be doing my nails because it's just about that time. So if you are a person who can't get their nails done because your nail shop is still closed due to quarantine, or you simply just want to learn how you can do your nails yourself at home for the low low, or you're just interested to see how my nails turn out today in this video, then keep on watching. So once your nails are free of polish, I'm going to go in with the manicure set and use the nail clippers to cut my nails down so that it's easier to apply the nail tips and can easily blend. Next, I'm going to take the nail file and grind down and shape the edges of my nails just to clean it up a bit and give it a smooth square edge using a back and forth motion. Just using a plain napkin, I'm brushing off that excess dust and voila! Using your favorite base coat, you just want to apply this to your natural nails as a protectant from the acrylic and glue and baking powder that we're going to be putting on the nails. This one is SE all in one. So now I'm just going to open the nail kit to get the nails out and all the tools that I need and just prep them for application as well as opening up the brush on glue by KISS for the application. So this kit comes with two sides, a French tip side and a natural side. So I'm just going to be using the natural nails for this look today and going to be seeing what fits on my nail, testing it out, and you're probably gonna need to customize it, cut it down a little bit so that it can fit to your nail bed. I have really small like nails, so I had to cut and customize, so I'll be back to show you guys the next step. So now that you got all the shapes and sizes of your nails all sorted out, you wanna take your first tip and apply some of the KISS brush on glue to the back end of it to then attach to your natural nails, like so. A few moments later. Hey guys, so I'm back and all the nail tips are on. That one I put on kind of crooked, but whatever. Don't do that. Do this very slowly so you can be as precise as you need to. So now taking the glue again, I'm just going to start by applying some to the end of the tip little by little and then dipping it in baking powder like this. And you just want to repeat this step to all of your nails. Now the acrylic kit does come with its own acrylic powder and liquid, but for the sake of this tutorial, I will be showing you how to get the same look with baking soda so that you don't have to use the kit. I'll probably save that powder for another nail tutorial or something like that, but yeah.
So you want to gradually apply the glue until you reach the top of your nail bed. And so do the step as many times necessary to get the desired look. I'm going to fast forward some parts and just skip through some parts because it repeats and you guys get the gist now. This is what your nail should look like after applying the glue, the glue gradually till it reaches your nail bed. It's kind of like a white soft ombre color to them as if you went to the nail salon. And then I'm just going to go back again with the nail file to clean up the nails, give them the look and shape that I want them to have. And take your time doing this. You don't want to break the nail. You want to try to hold down the nail with your other nail that you're filing so that it doesn't lift. Now using the nail file that was in the acrylics nail kit, I'm taking the smooth side and using that to buff my nail and smooth it out. So for my first color, I'm using that orangey, tangy color by Essie called Feeling Wellies on one half. And then my second color, I'm taking LA Colors number 527 from Dollar Tree and using that on the other half. And I'm just going to dab it all over my nail in no particular way. For my last two remaining colors, I'll be using the Vita Fit Can't Stop Won't Stop and Sally Hans's Hard Bitten. Taking the loose glitter that I bought from Dollar Tree, I'm just brushing that all over my nails to give it a nice little sparkle and pizzazz, you know. And then to seal everything in, I'm using a top coat from LA Colors, also found at Dollar Tree. Man, Dollar Tree has everything. You would be really surprised by the amazing finds you can find at Dollar Tree. So just head on down to your local Dollar Tree and <laughs> you'll be blown. Like, I don't even have to say anything. Wow. 
Now take a Q-tip dipped in nail polish remover to clean up your cuticle area and voila! This is the finished product. This is how everything turned out. And for my first time applying acrylics, I think I did a really good job minus the crooked nail. So if you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Bye! See you in the next one.